Hello everyone and welcome to Vernie the Shape Fantasy Given to me game Gametopia Now I don't know much about this game at all So let's get started Kind of reminds me of Dave the Diver already Has anyone played Dave the Diver? Brilliant game Oh, I do like the pixelated art style already. I'm a sucker for pixelated games, especially RPG Maker ones. Love the intro so far. That music is giving me Bioshock vibes. Now I'm getting, uh, we need to go deeper, um, bow trauma. The end of the nation oh. is very close, Vern. You are very confident about your triumph. Until we open the chest, we won't know for sure if the compass of destiny is really inside. The chest is in perfect shape after 2,000 years under the sea. No human technology can do that. It's Atlantean, that's for sure. The ship, the inscriptions, all the pieces fall into place. The compass of destiny is compass inside. Compass of destiny. We are going to change the course of this goddamn war, Vern. We are oh, going Vern. to change history. That's Take it to Mr. Vern's lab and start maneuvers to ascend for air recycling. This discovery will change it all. Let me guess, it didn't go to the surface. Maybe it did. All fear ye kraken. Mobilis in mobili. March 25th, 1888. Scientific officer log. It's a great day for the captain, who has asked me to begin documentation while he delivers a speech to the crew in the library. After months of searching, at last he found it. He doesn't have the slightest doubt that the compass of destiny is in his hands. An old artifact that, once released from inside this chest, it is supposed to guide us safe and sound to the flame of Hephaestus, the most powerful energy source in the world. Ooh. The deadbolt has a complex defensive system and the... Okay. Okay, I need to turn that down. That is super loud. I don't know how loud it was for you guys, but my ears hurt. Okay, that's a bit better. I can handle that. Vern here. Vern, quick! The nation is attacking us. Not a single Atlantean piece can fall into their. Mon dieu! Merde! 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 I must hurry to recover the iMac. It's inside of the armory's safe room, and wait there. It's the safest place around. Okay. So the IMAX is basically a flame. Shower room. Is it this way? No, nope, wrong way. We are all the Nautilus. Why do you feel like this is like a some Matrix shit going on? I must hurry to the Arbre. I must hurry to the Arbre. No, blocked. There's only one way to the Armory. Going outside. Merde! The elevators are disabled. That siren is so noisy. Up you go. Useless gear ball. Why don't you open? Oh, that's a... Oh, 
that's a lot of holes. Okay. For the first time I've done a stealth game like this. Ah! Dang! That was a really... I really do like the music at the moment. It's getting the heart bumping, that's for sure. So this is the last post. I do not like that. I do not like those lights. Where's the armory? The armory is one down. Okay. Safety routes. All right. That's a bit noisy. Oh, mon dieu! Adam and Shun! This is a massacre! But wait! These bullet wounds on Shun. There are no blood drops around. He was shot up with his dead. The library access seems clear, but I must reach the armory. I need to go through the CO2 room, but that's it. It's jammed. I have to go down to the armory. Maybe I can open the safety hatches from the bridge. Go to the bridge. I got you, filthy terrorist. That made me jump. Oh, mon dieu. Oh, mon dieu. I'm a terrorist? That wasn't in my job description. This is the chart room. It's Bell. Is somebody there? No foes here. Adriel, where's everybody? And Nadine? The pilot has disappeared. Very likely she has been captured with the others at the library. What happened? How is that even possible that- I don't know. The server radars didn't work. 
Nothing has worked. They crushed us. Damn Raven. The Raven? Mad. Well, that's not the worst of all. The captain has activated the Nautilus. Oh, that's gonna be fun. What? He will never let his technology fall into the hands of the nation. How much time do we have? Less than ten minutes. Mon Dieu! You are the second in command. Can't you disactivate it? Only Nemo it? knows the code. Hmm. He told me to protect the bridge to speed away as soon as we release ourselves. But the engines are currently paralyzed until the captain reactivates the core. That's why we're still outside. Oh my god! What will we do? You are the only one who can do something. What? The only what? I'm a researcher guy. Well, now you must become one. I will open the hatches to the armory chamber. Once there, take the iMag and do whatever you can to save the Nautilus. <laughs> The iMac? It's not a weapon. We barely know how to use it or what it can do. What if it sinks us? What do you fancy more? A quick death beneath the sea or a long life of tortures at one of the nation's penitentiary mines? Mm. Ooh, sounds like fun. Oh, I love that rain, Move. though. I still have some stuff to do. I had a little bit more time. He grabbed that paper with his last strength. It's bloodied. supposed to do think you figure something out you're an imaginative guy Mad. oh dear the eye mag is an atlantean artifact capable of detecting cracks in reality and making small rewrites at specific moments in case things get difficult for you huh. iMag offers logical choices. Explore the world to get more options. Select one, but be careful. Not all of them have a happy ending. Ooh. Fortunately, damages in the area weren't considerable. Well done. Now you must wait for the iMag to recharge. If you choose wrong, the iMag may go back a short time, but beware, it doesn't happen often. Happy rewriting. Interesting. It's broken. I could try to fix it with the iMac. I need to wait for it to recharge, don't I? Wait, hold on, I forgot my controls already. Wait. Wait, hold on. There we go. The electric board kept withstanding. Try 
sight with the iMac. Before dying, he released a paper he was holding in his hand. Okay, so it's like a um, slightly hostile group. So I need to go down... I need to get to the core. So how do I get to the core? Okay, so I need to go through the workshop, go down one. And right side. Okay. Blocked. Maddie is so good stacking supplies that not even the bombs could have moved them. I suppose I can't use a bomb. The explosions didn't affect the room. There we go. Blocked. I can only use the iMag if I know the possible options. I must find another way inside. Before dying, he left the emergency hatch open. Fire at will! Watch the flanks! Come on, protect the core! Don't let them take it over! work it must have run out of energy I could fix the electric board hmm just don't know when to surrender isn't that so oh dear of course not i still have to finish your face the nautilus is at last on the nation's hands tell me how to deactivate the self-destruction and take my word as a gentleman i don't I trust you, you. Ha, gentlemen i saw in the penitentiary mind what to free means to you you damn sadist I will die before releasing the Nautilus to your masters. It's a shame to end our relationship like this, but... What? Wish granted, Captain. This time you will not escape. Brothers, take aim! No! What am I doing? Vern, what are you doing? What the... Oh, you must be Mr. Vern, and that thing you're threatening me with is the amazing Atlantean artifact I've heard so much fuzz. Me? Release them and get out. Don't move. Get back. 60 seconds to self-destruction. 60 seconds to self-destruction. Don't be stupid, Nemo. 
Stop the countdown before we all die. No. Then say goodbye to your dear Van. No! To use the iMag at full capacity, complete the sequence by pressing the correct symbol before the time runs out. If you find the quick time events... Okay, I'll try. There we go. But what the... again? No! Displayed that amount of power before. My mind was dragged again to the bridge, an image that was torturing me over the last months. I didn't wake up until a few hours later, a time that surely Nemo felt was like an eternity. It's one way to do an intro. Holy hell, that was fun. Chapter one complete. Wow. Captain, my take is that the only way to open it safely is exposing it to the iMag. Are you sure? This dead bolt is a piece made by Phobos priests. Their devices were famous for being impenetrable. Forged I have with to admit, the voice acting is so good. If anyone messes with it, it will launch a discharge of an energy that will cause a deep, infinite terror to whoever receives it. An energy that causes terror? That's preposterous. Maybe for you, but for the Atlanteans, the power of Phobos was real enough. Do you think that fear, destructive imagination, and hopelessness don't exist? Not presented in the shape of fireworks and sparks. If you don't believe me, feel free to break the chest with a crowbar. <sighs> How can the iMag open it? The iMag feeds itself with Mr. Verne's imagination and uses it to creatively change our reality. Therefore, it's a positive force, directly opposed to the kind of energy that the deadbolt uses. I'm reasonably convinced that the energy of the iMag will nullify the one in the lock. You mean, like sand and rust? Could be. Mm. The deadbolt is a rusty key, and the iMag, the sand that wipes away when scrubbed. Do it, Vern. What the... What now? The iMac. It... it doesn't work. It looks like it ran out of energy. That explosion must have dried it up. You must make it work. We must release the compass of destiny from this chest. Hey, I saved your life. Shouting at me won't help. Adriel, go and look for Petrov. May he bring the torch and... Captain, I must advise against force opening the chest. Unless you want to lose your mind. What is Listen imperative to her. now is to find an answer to why the iMag is dead. If you have any theory, spit it out now. It's possible that, given that the iMag gets its energy from the imagination of its host, the problem is inside your mind, Vern. In my mind? Yes, that's true. You talked about hallucinations. Y yes. For an instant, I traveled back to a bridge in Paris. I had a similar vision at the island. Do you remember mm. seeing something like this in your vision? It certainly has a likeness with the shadow I saw at the bridge, but... Are you telling me that I saw Phobos, the Atlantean god of fear? Fear is a narrow description of what Phobos oh. really meant to the Atlantean nice image. people. For them, he was the destructive imagination. The one born out from despair and angst. You could also say that his sister Placea, however, represented fantasy. But the truth was that she was perceived as the source of the creative imagination, the one that thrives from hope. Hmm, interesting. I think that Atlanteans believe that the balance between the two brothers dictated one's own sanity. If Phobos has broken that balance in your mind, that would explain the IMAG silence. Mythology. Interesting. You're talking about mythology? I don't believe in Phobos, hence it's impossible that it's harming me. The thing I like is, mythology. you are afraid. <laughs> Too much fear inside you. Until you don't master it, I'm afraid that the iMag will never work again. I refuse to believe in Hocus Pocus. And how can you oh, explain the iMag fun. blast? It saved your life. I don't question that the Atlantean technology doesn't work. What I mean is that... Enough with the debate! 
We are losing precious time. What matters is that the iMag only works with you. It's obvious that your hallucinations are a symptom of some kind of disorder. Visit Dr. Cedric and get yourself a neurological check. That's an order. All right. You, Adriel, check the reparations. We must Spoken keep like a true captain, but days I didn't hear a thank you still. Get to the base. We must assume that Commander Hetzel is not far from us. Yes, Captain. Why are you still here? Aren't you bothered by the way we were attacked? They fell upon us too easily. It's more than probable that there is a traitor on board. A traitor? In the Nautilus? Never. I have personally chosen each this member of this so, crew. This so guy's sure of there himself. There is no question that the nation has found a way to decode our communications. Um, I envy your confidence, Captain. But you should be aware that during the attack, I found that someone shot Shun's body after his death. I believe that the murderer was trying to hide the fact that he was killed before the boarding. God damn it. Let's keep our eyes open. If there is a traitor in such a small space, he or she will be exposed sooner or later. God damn it. Now you're listening to Vern. Anyway, guys, that's all I have time for today. And I have to admit, it's so amazing so far. Thank you so, so much, Gametopia, for allowing me to play Vern. I I really enjoy this. I love the story so far. I love the graphics. I love the music. I love the atmosphere. I'm really enjoying this one. So, guys, if you like the content I am putting out, link to my coffee is in the description below. I swear Burns' voice sounds familiar. Anyway, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now!